politicians, they come in in millions, they blocking your vision. But no, you can't listen. That shit is all fiction. Cause you hold the power as long as you're trying to make it. A growing trend in Nairobi, Kenya, sees more people switching to cycling since the onset of COVID-19 pandemic and harsh economic times, despite a critical lack of bike paths. More people are choosing to use bicycles to commute instead of cars due to the increased fuel prices and hiked fares. Cycling is recommended as the remedy for traffic and parking congestion, environmental and noise pollution, depleting energy resources, welfare diseases, and social exclusion. According to a research by the African Media Portal in 2021, 55,000 trips are made by bicycles. Mike Naibe, a student in Multimedia University, uses a bicycle to commute to and from school. He mentions a myriad of benefits associated with this activity. Sale, kila kitu ime, ime clog up. Sale, una, una feel ni kama, eh, I really need to ease up. I really need to, nafa ni relax kiasi. Eh, mi nangali angali hivi. Naona, ah, I have a two-wheeler somewhere and I can actually they took one and then he ride this graffiti but listening to my uh, slow music or whatever whatever it helps me it really helps me un- unwind and plus like it's a fitness tool per se not journey cliche yeah because oh you'll ride a bike you'll burn cal- calories and all that and all that but i'm talking about mental fitness because you become more alert you become more aware of your surroundings which are like every sense in your body is clicking sticking you know Kitu kama yan, that's a bike to me. So, no, no. Mie, ni, ni kitu tuwa nye inansaidi ya... Uh, basically, in every aspect of, of my existence in this in this stressful situation. And apart from that, like, it's my means of transport. Ni kitoka from point A to point B, ni bike tu ntendea. Because, eh, hey, uno na economy sa hivile inafanana. It's too expensive. So, Faith Nabozo, also a student in Multimedia University, identified an entrepreneurial opportunity in the cycling niche and started a bicycle rental business in Ongata Rongai near Multimedia University. She identifies the business as a lucrative and profitable venture. Riding is a hobby for many people. Some opt to hire bikes instead of buying one and thus end up being Faith's clients. She also offers customized bike trips for some of our clients at a fee. Like right now we have taken some of our clients to Kitengela Hot Class and Masai Lodge Hotel and then now we are on our way back. Her clients enjoy cycling and love her services. She takes us in a journey in one of her trips from the point where clients rent the bikes go out riding in her company to the point where they return to the shop and make the payment for the service offered. These trips are well documented. The sales she makes are also recorded inventories. Social media comes in handy in the success of her business since she later uses the documented trips to market her services in the digital platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. In addition to renting bikes out, Faith's shop conducts repair for clients who own bikes as well as her own bikes as they are subject to wear and tear after being used. She has a workforce to help her in the work, especially when demand is high. Learn of other digital aspects utilized by cyclists as Mike uses a mobile application called Strava to monitor his speed and other athletic elements. I can monitor my heart rate, I can monitor the, the distance that, that, I've, uh, that I've walked on that day, I can monitor the steps that I've, I've gone. You've cycled for say 70 or 100 kilometers. You see, that is a huge, huge milestone. But then, come how Japima. Kama hauja, kama hauna a record of, of such, then you, you, can't, you can't actually know what you have to do. Because Faith has been able to juggle creatively between studies and business, and she says this is something she could continue doing even after school. We hope that this serves as a wake-up call to other students, that they can find unique ways to earn money in this digital world.